Hey there, English learners. We're glad to see you back to learn more English in grammar with Bella. Last time we talked all about sentences. Today we're going to talk about nouns and all its different types. Let's get started. So Bella, do you know what a noun is? Nouns are a part of speech that names a person, place, thing, or idea. For example, the many things around us are nouns. Sofa, plant, and books are all nouns. Since there is only one sofa and plant, they are called singular nouns. Because there is more than one book, they are plural nouns. Did you get that, Bella? Let's say you want to visit a country or a city. Country and city are called common nouns because they refer to general names. Other examples of common nouns are teacher, cell phone, coffee shop. But when you say you want to visit France or New York, those are called proper nouns because they name specific things. Other examples of proper nouns are teacher Peter, Apple iPhone, Starbucks coffee. Proper nouns usually begin with a capital letter. Additionally, we have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns can be separated into individual units and can be counted. For example, one, two, three chairs. Meanwhile, non-count nouns can't be counted because they're regarded as a whole and can't be divided. For example, happiness, English, and information. In general, non-count nouns can't be pluralized. Last but not least, we have regular and irregular nouns. Nouns whose plurals can't be formed by adding s or es are called regular nouns. Meanwhile, irregular nouns form their plurals by having a different spelling or having no changes at all. For example, treat Treats, pitcher, pitchers, bus, buses, dictionary, dictionaries, child, children, sheep, sheep. Phew, that's a lot of nouns. Did you get all of that, Bella? We hope you had another fun time with us today. For more detailed lessons on nouns and grammar, sign up for Monal's free optional classes to help you with your English needs. We'll see you next time! Thank you.